<laughs> Hello everyone. Uh, I'm making quite a rare uh, <laughs> um, uh, yeah, appearance on Instagram Live and the internet in general. So, Hello everyone, I just want to jump on because in, well some people already have it around the world, but in one hour, or well, 58 minutes to be precise, um, my first ever album on uh, on my own comes out, when facing the things we turn away from, and I just want to jump on and see, um, say what's up, see how you're doing, you know, bring in, it's like bringing in the new year, you know, alright, let's see what I could say. So if you have any questions or whatever, but if not, I'll just, uh, I'll just chill. Oh my God, Christian LaRusso's on? <laughs> What's up? Oh my goodness, I can't believe the album's coming out. I worked so long, so long and so hard um, to get to this point. And honestly, it's quite, um, quite emotional. And it's been, yeah, <laughs> big fan. Oh my goodness. Am I excited? Andy underscore S, oh, S, S T T. Um, oh my God. Sierra just texted me that I'm too close to, I'm too close to the screen. No, where am I supposed to sit? <laughs> like this? Is this better? This is my first time interneting. Congrats on the engagement, King. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. So I've got to be close to the screen to see the comments. I haven't got my glasses on. Oh, jeez. How old? I just sounded a thousand years old then. Jesus Christ. Um, so. Hello from Bolivia. Congrats on the release. Thank you very much. You know what's so funny is that I actually feel like since I haven't been, I haven't been home in a long time, but I feel like I've my voice sounds more Australian for some reason. I've gone back to my, from not seeing anyone for so long, I've gone back to my natural state. Oh my God. What's the song mum about? I mean, did you listen? Or have you some, oh, I guess maybe you haven't heard it. Mum is about a letter, I mean, it's a letter to my mum. What was the hardest song to write on the album? Um, length. And time wise, oh geez, uh, I had Bloodline for like, was, I had like a seed of an idea of Bloodline and I had, was trying to finish it for months and I'd like hardly had anything of it. It was like a tiny section of it. And um, this one I wrote that me and Sierra wrote and she really took it over the line because I had no idea what to do with it. Um, so yeah, she... She um, she got it over the line, and nailed it. Um, hello, Luke. Congrats on your album. If you will notice me, I will punch my face. Well, don't do that. How you feeling, bro? Caitlin asked. I'm feeling good. I'm nervous. I was definitely a bit teary before. Oh no, the viewers are going down. I'm being boring. Quick, quick. Um. I feel good. I was quite emotional before because I think I've been working for, as I said, so long on it and like talking about it a bunch and like, you know, um, it was quite, it was really difficult to get it over the line. So, um, and I'm stoked. What's the emotional, most emotional song to do for you? Um, I think it's funny because I feel like the lyrics of my, probably my favorite song, well, it's hard to pick a favorite. One of my favorites is a song called A Beautiful Dream. And that, for some reason, not lyrically, oh, I guess a little bit lyrically, but like the overall feeling of it makes me, um, yeah, it makes me like, I don't know, super nostalgic um, just for the nature of the song. But I was going to show you because that's one of my favorites on the album. This is the room. Oh, yeah, I should show you the room. That's what I should be doing. This is where the whole album was, ah, uh, this chord's hanging around, but wait, can you switch this around? Oh yeah, this is where the whole album started from, this room, which I'm sure you've seen somewhere online. 
But yeah, for that song, I remember I bought this synth over here for Beautiful Dream. I don't know, if, I, if you've heard it, then it'll make sense, but if you haven't heard it, it's not gonna make sense. It started with, I don't know if you'll be able to hear this, but it started with this. <laughs> Well, it sounds way better on the album, so if you haven't heard the album yet, <laughs> and yeah, it sounds better than that, because I didn't, I didn't nail it just then, but yeah, favorite song, uh, Were You Not Listening, that is, I'm not, yeah, I'll just, I just played the, one of the favorites, I'm not listening to your album yet, but I love it, well, I appreciate that, how'd you crack your camera, oh, because I flipped it around, I don't know how I cracked it, and I'm upset that you know that now. Room tour. Yeah, I did the room tour. Um, oh, yeah, that's what I wanted to do. So, has anyone heard, like, uh, the song Slip Away on the album yet? Because I have a demo thing from it as well that I could show you. I'm going to wait to see if anyone responds to that. But anyway, so there's a song called Slip Away on the album that almost didn't make it on the album that me and the guy I did the album with, Sammy, we rode out in a cabin in the middle of the, the woods in, in Big Bear. And we started with this. If you hear it, once you hear the album and hear this song in particular, you'll understand why it's so crazy. But it started like, I just wanted to play this demo because I love this demo and I might release it at some point because it sounds way different to this, but I always thought this was rad. obviously turned into like quite um something that makes sense sense with the rest of the album and turned into like more of acoustic um yeah something that made sense with the rest of the songs and sort of served the song more even though i thought that was really cool so if anyone digs that it might um come out eventually but anyway all right why is there how do you make new comments load questions Oh, here we, oh, I found the question section. Oh my God. Is this new? The question section? Um, okay. Okay. How was the process of creating your album? Um, well, it started in this room and then I met, uh, Sammy and then it sort of flourished from there, but it was, I don't know. A lot of it was I think because I had so much time to sort of sift through what I wanted to say. And even before I knew exactly what I wanted to say, it usually would start with like, like on a piano or a guitar and like a lyric and like melody was sort of come out. And, um, 
and I would sort of, it wouldn't be something that I would, I didn't sit down and like write, think about the song I wanted to write it more, it just sort of came out and then I sort of had to figure out what those, uh, those lyrics meant to me and sort of chase that feeling. But yeah, that's kind of, it was so a lot of that album lyrically was sort of, uh, I guess sort of waiting there as lame as that sounds. And it wasn't, I wasn't really hunting down. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know if that makes sense, but whatever. I tried. Are you excited about the online concert? Yes. Um, I'm very excited and it's going to be, it's going to be cool. It's going to be like a couple songs stripped down and yeah, it's at the, it's actually at the place where, so some of the album was written here and some was written at my, like I've talked about Sammy Woody who did, um, the album with me, like is done at his place, but then a lot of like the actual recording of it was done in the place, um, which I won't say until after the, <laughs> the live stream is done, I guess. Um, but yeah, it was like this really beautiful studio in the middle of nowhere and I'm going to do the live stream there. So it's going to be rad and emotional going back there. Um, favorite song to make off the album. Um, I don't know. I think, oh geez, probably motion. Motion was fun because we were out. Um, yeah, it was just sort of came out quickly and it was really crazy and weird sounding. I violently streamed your songs for th your three songs for four hours straight today. Be proud. Well, it's not really a question, is it? But you know, um, mm, what else we got? A uh, fave lyric from the album. Um, I think I, I really love in slip away the see your Southern heart hiding behind a city face because I thought that was really, really clever and I was proud of that one. Um, how are you coping with your nerves is another question from Audrey. Um, I'm good. I'm more excited at the moment, to be honest. I I was very, very nervous coming into the first, um, like when starting line was coming out and like all of that at the beginning was really nerve wracking because I wasn't sure what to expect and I really wanted to make it clear why I was doing it and like the... Um, sincerity behind it was like a creative freedom thing for for me to do but I feel pretty good now I'm I'm more just like excited for people to hear the to hear the songs um will you do an acoustic version of the album I don't know about a full album but maybe a couple acoustic songs if you guys yell loud enough I suppose um <clears throat> okay so we're gonna go downstairs now What else we got? What are the brain busters you got? <clears throat> so, a lot, a lot of the songs, well, that were started at home, started on this piano. And one of my favorite songs in the album is the last one. That's why it closes it. It's called Come Down. I don't know what I was doing at at the at the time, but um, this was like the first verse of this song and the first chorus sort of just like came flooding out um, almost too quick that I couldn't catch up. Sorry for the squeaky chair. It's been a hell of a week. Have I left this bedroom yet? I'll sleep this life away Till I see a reflection I can speak to With a cold breeze Maybe I can soon forget I'll wash away the bleach And clear reflections I can see through Wishing bones, hoping they bring me back to course. All my life, I've been.
been passing this line And once you get on, you will never get off And won't be the same Let it come down on me Let me see all the things that I was supposed to see Light up the darkness I was never meant to Climb out of like a bursting sunrise from the deepest sleep Change your heart in a silver line and down on Camellia Street Let it come down on me Let it come down on me That's probably my favorite song on the album, even though I've said three other different songs. Hey, you want to be in it? <laughs> what? I said, you want to be in it? No. <laughs> That's the arrow. Where's Petunia? Oh, no. Okay. <clears throat> All right, back up the stairs. <sighs> well, I know for sure I'm definitely going to see that not very sung in tune version on YouTube from all y'all recording it. Um, I'm going to do a couple more, a couple more questions, if there's any. Oh, you can really like the questions too. You can, it's clever. Um, can we see Petunia pretty please? Okay. I'll see. Where is she? Oh, wait. She's downstairs. I don't know where she is. Where is she? Oh. <laughs> is she there? Oh, my goodness. She's coming up. Here. Come here. Here's Petunia. She's getting a special bone. <laughs> there you go. Um. <sighs> we only want Petunia. Yeah, I feel that. I can relate to that. Um. Okay, any other questions? How many songs were scrapped? Um, lots of songs. There was a lot of songs, but they didn't make it a long way. Like a lot of the songs on the album were written like maybe quite quickly, but then like come down for even one example went through like 10 different, um, 10 different like versions and took so long. And I feel bad for Sam that I put him through that. <laughs> um, yeah, but. I forget what the question was. Oh, how many scrap songs? But yeah, but there was like, there was a lot of scrap songs, but like, I don't know, a lot of the time was spent trying to make how I heard and wanted to feel the songs um, come across in it, you know? So there was a lot of time sort of spending doing that. Oh my God. The noise of her paws. <laughs> yes. Um, all right. Well... I think I have been awkward enough on live stream for a long enough time, but yeah, uh, the album comes out in 40 minutes when facing the things we turn away from. And it's been, um, yeah, it's been incredible to see the support so far. And I really appreciate everyone for listening or if you're about to listen, um, this album means the world to me and I just appreciate everyone. I don't know, taking the time. So thank you very much. And yeah, I love you guys. And, can't wait for everyone to hear it. Can't wait for y'all to hear it. So I'll see you soon. And yeah, bye-bye. All right. I don't know how to end it, so wait. Oh, I know how to end it. Bye-bye. <laughs> see you guys.